Hey guys, in today's video we are going to be looking at 25 resource packs that improve the game and add some fun little cool features. Before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe if you're not already, but let's get right into the video. So this first Minecraft resource pack is called Super Lilies. Now this switches up lily pads in the game around the swamps and it just makes them look like they're really cute. There's 13 variants, three colours of each. April, pink and yellow flowers and they have some vines under them. This next resource pack is called Cozy Bees 2. Now this adds little Christmas jumpers on the bees, little sweaters. It's super cute and just adds some festivity to the game. This next resource pack is a little bit of a spooky one. This is called Zombie Hands and it adds zombie hands on zombies to make them look a little bit more scarier and spooky. <laughs> It's just little details like this which look really good. This next resource pack is called Stevie Lisa. Now somebody added this in the game after seeing how we make Minecraft, the Mojang Studios series and someone created it into the game. <laughs> it's really funny and just kind of cool. This next resource pack is called Realistic Light Sources. Now this makes the torches look super realistic. They just look a whole lot better than what they originally looked like. Also works with soul torches and lanterns as well as regular lanterns. As you can see there is a little flame inside if you place one down. It just looks super cute. This next resource pack is called Chubby Cheeks. Now this I have done a few videos on before but it deserves way more views and downloads than it actually has. More people need this because it literally improves how the mobs look. It switches up chickens, sheep, cows and then different biomes for different types of chickens, endemites, even cows which are the cutest. Who doesn't love a good refresh of the farm animals and just creatures in the game? But the best feature of this resource pack are the bunnies because they are chubby bunnies and they're so adorable. Here we are in a desert and as you can see the bunny texture has changed into a desert themed bunny which is so much more cuter. And you also have upgraded squids which look so freaking awesome. So this next resource pack is called Curatory. Now if you rename a wooden shovel junior in an anvil you'll get a little curatory. This is from Rilakkuma. You can place it in an item frame or you can type in this command which is on the planet minecraft page and you can put it on your head. And now that is adorable. This next resource pack is called Snowstorm. Now this replaces all of the blocks in the game to make them look snowy and Christmassy. This next resource pack is called Better Foliage. Now this replaces the leaves and improves them as well as the grass. It adds extra grass. It adds more foliage to the game. But yeah, this just looks super cute. It's a super simple change, but it just makes the game look so much better. This next resource pack is called Paintings Unpixelated. And this basically just makes the paintings not look pixelated and makes them look a bit more realistic. For example, here we have the skull. And these two little ones. This next resource pack isn't for everybody, but if anybody wants some kawaii coloured looking planks, this one is for you. <laughs> it adds different coloured planks, like pastel pink, blue, white, orange. As you can see here, it just replaces the planks that are already in the game. This next resource pack is called Tremex Default Improvements. And now this adds a few new features to the game. It replaces the farm animals to make them look a little bit more realistic, such as the cows, the sheep, the chickens. I love resource packs that do this, and the pigs. I just prefer the animals a little bit more realistic. Also, the skeletons now have a quick it also improves some of the blocks such as the grass and the furnace and it also adds shade into flowers which allows them to naturally blend in with the rest of the environment. But here are some more of the cows and the so- So this next resource pack is called Better Vanilla and here I'm on the server to show you what the blocks look like. This is what all the ore variants look like as well as the furnaces. It basically uses connected textures to change the colours of different blocks and adds different variants. 
The server is on the web page, so you can all view the server if you'd like to go and check it out. So you can see what it adds. You can even add colored planks, which is <laughs> amazing. Also different stone variants. You have to have Optifine installed for this to work. And also connected textures on. Here are some of the biomes. Here we have the dark oak forest, which has definitely been improved. We have the flower forest, which adds different moo blooms, cows with flowers, snowy biomes, which adds snow onto the animals, sunflower plains, which adds the yellow, yellow moo blooms, the oceans, as well as the tigers, mountainous, so the different variants of mobs change within each biome. And also a swamp, which adds muddy pigs. It also adds a huge range of different armor types that you can rename with an anvil. You get different models and different items. They just have different textures and they're so cool. Here are the angel textures, which just, what the heck? It's so cool. There is so many different variants. This one being one of my favorites, the shroom. And this is all just a texture pack and renaming items. This next resource pack is called Icons and it adds all these little icons on the menu. It is super cute, super unique, very simple change, but it just improves the look of the menus. This next resource pack is called Slenderman and it just replaces the Enderman with a Slenderman. If you know what that is, it's pretty freaky, but hey. The next one is called Ore Overhaul and it just makes the ores look 3D. It improves the way they look for when you are caving and this is what the diamond looks like. This resource pack is called 3D Buckets. Now this makes the buckets look realistic and 3D. This next resource pack is called Realistic Animals. Now this is the most realistic animal texture pack I have seen. It is super cool and awesome. It adds really realistic chickens, cows, sheep, pigs, and it all depends the type of biomes that you are in. You can get different colors and different variants. This next one is called 3D Craft. Now this remodels a few different things such as flower pots, quite a lot of stuff, anvils, blast furnaces. It makes them 3D furnaces, just some very simple changes. It also switches up the ores and adds a little 3D layer. Here is the inside of the house. As you can see, the crafting table, enchanting table and book. This next one is called Moobree's Pack and this creates a straw bloom cow, which are a pink moo bloom variant with pink daisies. They drop strawberries. This next resource pack is called Reach. Now this adds all new sound, four borders, a biome smoothing, low grass, so many different features, they're all listed on the page. This is what your GUI looks like. It also adds better breaking animation as well as a little bigger of a crosshair. It adds some R borders so they're easier to find and many more features. This next resource pack is called Altered Paintings. Now this adds different variant of paintings, my favorite being this cat. It just spruces up the paintings, who doesn't like new painting? This next resource pack is called Sheng Ling's Epic Environment Improvement and it adds actual animated textures. There's different grass variants that are actual models, such as these little eggs. We've got different types of flowers and we've also got different types of trees such as cherry blossoms instead of birch. It even adds little entities on the trees such as these little beehives and apples. There's a little grass block which is a chicken in a nest. It just improves the environment. It makes it look so cool. Here we have flowering cacti as well as a different sand texture and also even these little log things which just, it just adds to the environment. Look at these cute little flowers. You even got random crops growing as well as little cute butterflies. And this is what it looks like without shaders because it adds different lighting effects and different sky colors as well as water. These are all the different packs. It does say incompatible, but they do work in 1.16.4.
Here we have a cave. The lighting just changes and it's so cool. Look at this next resource pack is called Crewmate Dyes and it changes all the dyes into the game to look like little crewmates from Among Us. This final resource pack is called Cl Killerton's Bed Pack and it just adds different textures on each colored beds. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This video took really long to make so be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.